الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على خير خلق الله وعلى علي وصحبه وسلم أما بعد هبت في الله I wanted to make this video because it is a uh, important subject. subject and it is in reference to those people who comment on the channel so I just wanted to set this down so that way perhaps we can limit our comments to that which is beneficial limit our comments to s observing certain manners when it comes to commenting uh, and so First, I want to say Jazallah Khaira for all those who have a husnul qast, you know, that have a good intention in leaving comments. And this is great and this is beautiful and who want to share knowledge. Uh, for over the years, one of the things, I have not posted links. Only more recently, I've allowed other people's content occasionally to be posted. Because sometimes the people post pe uh, comments, plain and simple, from people of Ahl Bidah. That's not going to fly in my channel. And sometimes they point... Uh, give the people they they put the comments of people مختلفي, people who have there's there's differences of view point perhaps my view may be different than another person's view on this individual in which I don't I'm not an advertiser for their 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 channel and their stuff they have their own channel they have their own platform my this platform is really me sharing knowledge which I've been trying to do for years uh, to the best of my ability in order to revise knowledge so I don't forget knowledge so I can be active in teaching because I've been, you know, I was away in Saudi Arabia so I didn't have the chance to be really on the ground. So this is a platform that I have chosen and it's been good for me to especially revise and go over issues and research and be active. But it isn't an advertisement page for, for other things and other things, other people. However, I let... From time to time, I let some things go, and I might look into something, but I don't really have time to research. People say, look at this video, to make a comment, look at this video, refute what he says, look at this video, he's doing this, uh, so-and-so did this. I don't have time for that, and I don't really busy myself with those kind of things. If I feel the need to do a refutation, and that has to be a shari maqsad, you know, it's in accordance with the shari. Not in accordance with my desire because I don't like this guy or this guy's so popular or this and that. No, th those aren't reasons and, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best that I've tried to avoid those kind of things and controversy for those reasons. I've said what I've said in the past and it stands as it stands. And so that's uh, another point I want to mention. Another part is having good manners. I see, you know, a lot of times I get the tikfiris and I understand that, you know, they're an emotional group of people mostly that have no knowledge you know there are some that may have some knowledge but mostly they don't have knowledge most of them they haven't studied they just read a lot of translated stuff or some of them might know Arabic but they get in no airplay really unless I'm gonna leave it there to expose the mistakes and make it a learning experience for us that we can learn from their bid'a or their mistakes okay I, I say bid'a because it's bid'a but I also, uh, let's be nice and respectful and also say from mistakes that I see. Or if they have something valid, I might acknowledge that. But then, rud, refute the mistake. So that's another thing. I will let, if as long as they have good, they're not racist comments. Racist, racial comments, especially if it uses certain words, it gets no airplay, so to speak. That will not be on my channel. Or it's using bad language, because perhaps some children may come across the ch uh, channel or youth... So that, that doesn't, that's not something that I accept. I don't allow that. Another uh, group of people, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless them, who I believe have good intent, is people who sometimes they try to transcribe what I said. You know, they go and they listen. That's okay for their own notes. But don't post that on the channel because I often find many mistakes in the English language and also... Uh, so linguistically, and also sometimes from a shari perspective. So save yourself time, save myself time. Uh, I'm going to really be more vigilant about that. I'm not going to post those things. 
So if you want to transcribe something, you can ask me. That's better. But I, it won't get airplay anymore. So may Allah bless you and reward you immensely. Because I also find another group of people, they might transcribe. And then they put their own talikat. They put their own uh, editorial, their commentary. So Khalid Green said, and then they'll start commenting what they believe and coming out from the left and to the right and coming from up and down. And it, I don't know who these people are, nor all of their statements I don't agree with, nor are they all shari'i sh based. So save yourself time. Don't do it. It's better. This is part of the mannerisms I want to establish. Another point of Habatatillah is also I see a lot of people want to answer questions. Now, if you're a Talib al-Ilm and you have something knowledge-based, I'll let that fly. I don't know who the people, most people post and they are mysterious. But I just want to say these things because don't take it in a wrong way. But I said what I said. I don't really need help necessarily. So, Jazallah khairan. If you've studied, well, alhamdulillah, we, we always want to benefit from knowledge. That's great. But I see a lot of people coming and trying to defend me or trying to put comments or, or answering with their own fatawa or they'll come with a fatwa they got from this place or this place. Really, that's not what the channel's for. Anybody can get on Google and do that. So the people asking the questions, they can do that the same. If you have something beneficial, like sometimes I say, I don't know about studying in a certain place and someone's in Egypt and they say, yeah, we know Sheikh so-and-so. That's cool. That's okay. But in general, we don't need a lot of other fatawa that are coming from the left and coming from the right and we don't really know much about them and where they're coming from or something from your opinion. Now, I do like some more engagement, so I allow some forums, so I'm, I'll monitor. I'm not going to be just cutting off all comments, no, but I just wanted to lay down some, some things because some of the things get kind of out of hand. The last thing I want to mention, there's also some people from Ahl Khair, they want Khair, but they want to advertise other people's channel. Well, the people, they don't need me to advertise for them. My channel is for my channel. And a lot of these things I'm mentioning, we don't see with our, with our scholars. I don't see, I never saw in the Durus people saying, Sheikh, uh, you know, and advertising other Mashaikh or uh, doing these kind of things, you know. Instead, they, they had a certain way with what, the way they respected knowledge and respected the scholars. Likewise, this should be carried with the students of knowledge or people who are trying to call you to khair, that there's a kind of adab that you want to, uh, you want to uh, learn and embrace and seek in knowledge. So it's not a really an advertisement channel. It's not a forum just to make your own fatawa. If you have legitimate questions, this is another last point I want to make. Send it to my emails better. Okay, especially if it's a personal question and, if, and let me know if you only want it answered, you know, if I can help you, behind, you know, with a, the personal question. But sometimes people put very personal stuff out there about themselves or something but instead look at my email it's there and and i have a website that we're i'm i'm beginning to develop it more called khalidgreen.net and pretty soon i want only if someone has questions and stuff to go through that that uh that forum and that way we can resolve some of those issues those are just some of the things and that's very important because uh it's important to have these kind of manners this is a part of seeking knowledge and this is what we see from our ulama too you don't see the uh, you know, you see some tulab, they debate with the scholars, and that's great. It's great to have some debate and some, you know, if they have knowledge, and they say, Sheikh, but what about this? And they're bringing some fawaid, or, you know, but Fozan has this, you know, or, or Imam Malik had this, or whatever the case may be. You know, they're bringing some good elmi discussions. This is beautiful. But however, to advertise and do some of the things that we see, I see people calling certain people scholars that haven't even, honestly, they have not studied. And I don't want to say, I'm not going to mention names, but I saw someone recently put something, oh, I'm so glad you put these sheikhs, you know, someone else praised it, oh, yeah, all these sheikhs. And subhanAllah, they listed some people as sheikh that have not studied, honestly. They have not done talib al-ilm at the feet of the ulama. And I know them personally. They have done some talib al-ilm in different places in the West, and that's great. But how you, you're going to put this, because the people don't know, they don't have judgments. They're so amazed by what they see on the YouTube. But subhanAllah, that's not how your judgment, and you only get that from learning. So I just say, may Allah forgive us and the people.
But then they also say, Usted so-and-so, and so-and-so studied, is a graduate from Jemaah Salamiyah, has been doing da'wah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, knows the ulama, translated for the ulama, done all this good work, but he's in Usted, but then you put someone else as sheikh, and you don't even know anything about their background. I know that. You just know that they have 20,000 subscribers, and they can speak Arabic. Subhanallah. People, you know, the judgment, is because we don't really have the tools to make these judgments. So just be careful. Seek refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the shaitan. And let's go forward and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless us with a class with the bat.